C'est quoi le rêve américain Et alors C'est en question simple. Un rêve devrait te libérer, pas tant chez nous. Our government has failed. We are not living the American dream. We are actually subservient. The people that's too caught up into the world, the media gets in their mind. I myself am guilty of sedition. Uh, I don't especially need to be hugely rich and famous and have everyone love me, which I think the younger generation is mistaking the dream for. American youth does not have a dream. Tap into another existence and learn that it's more than just what you see. Well, the American dream really comes from this notion of infinite possibility. I like to study. I like to play sports. Where I come from, there's not that much freedom as there is right here. It's not really all about being rich, famous, or having a big house. I want to be a doctor when I grow up. Le rêve américain était quelque chose d'incroyable, le plus beau rêve au monde. Mais maintenant, je crois que ce rêve américain s'est auto-détruit. Eventually, people will realize that we gotta take care of the basics yeah. first and do the bullshit later. Bullshit beautiful and exciting, but we don't need it right now. We need basics. And that gap creates lots of problems that are, are, are not talked about very much in the U.S., including health problems for the whole population, for example. We have to get smart. We have to stay engaged. It's difficult. These things, to vote, to, to have a say, to have a voice, it's a responsibility. It's an obligation. What do I like about American society? It's obviously the land of opportunity. Hard-working individuals. You can be whatever you want to be. Freedom of speech. And uh, like I said, just the determination to never give up. It's living good, loving good, eating good. <laughs> so what does the dream need to be? You know, when does satisfaction uh, achieved? I think it's about making other people's dreams come true. Every day you open your eyes, you've been blessed. You've been given another day to go out and do something, not only for yourself, but for another. Everyone needs a hand, a helping hand, and not everybody has that. So I think it's really, really easy to get lost. And I've been giving this some thought uh, for the last few weeks. We are one people, we are one world. I think you really need to get into uh, some futuristic thought here. Where people are self-sufficient, where we are not so centralized, that all these windows you see here have a planter box in them with, with tomatoes in it. It's really time to like, Go above and beyond anywhere that we've been before. Il faut arrêter de regarder que devant vous. Il faut ouvrir vos yeux et voir le monde en entier. The world needs to unite. We are one people. Uh, as a person, I matter to uh, you know to the bigger picture. We need to engage the the totality of what humanity is. I think we're coming together in like a bigger community. It's in your heart. You have love. You have hope, you have faith. Get up and go. Get up off your ass. I think we're entering like a kind of new generation of love. 
where it's, it's just be full of colors, everything just be so beautiful. I tend to pride myself on um, wisdom. The enlightened man, woman, is the greatest stranger in the world. So I thought I would just sort of point the camera and um, at myself, obviously. He does not seem to belong to anybody. No organization combines him, no community, no society. I mean, my ambition is to take the road less traveled and it's a very strange concept. Become a wanderer. So let's get there.